Hello Internet friends, it's Tim Schrock from Design Build Solutions bringing you another Tech Tip Tuesday. Have you ever run across the situation where you've got some siding missing like this? Well, today's tip is on how to fix that so that it looks like this. Let's get started. All right, before we understand what how to fix it, we kind of have to understand what's going on. Right now I've got a uh, exterior wall that's making a 90 degree angle here, and that exterior wall kind of continues here. This wall right here is, I've created an attic wall, and that's right, this space right there, that from the inside is creating this triangular shape so that the, the sloped roof is covered. So what I'm seeing here in this wood is where this roof actually keeps going right up through here so that when I essentially this wood material is this um, wall this layer wall layer right here. So what I need to happen is for this siding to keep coming through and cross over this wall and extend over to this siding here. That is simply uh, resolved. I'm in Chief Architect Premier version X12 on my MacBook Pro computer. Hopefully soon it's upgrading so we can run X13 and uh, I'm hearing rumors soon, possibly X14. So uh, we'll catch up here. I'm going to select this triangular shaped wall. That's this this shape right here in the corner. And I'm going to use this um, child tool, Edit Wall Layer Intersections, right down here. So when I select the wall, I get this Edit Wall Layer Intersections. Now as I edit those, when I click on that Edit Wall Layer Intersections, I can move several of these wall layers, siding, sheathing. I believe there's even one in there for the uh, air barrier between the siding and sheathing. This layer of the framing and this interior layer of the drywall. I only need to edit this siding layer. I'm just going to grab that diamond shape and pull it all the way over to the siding of this wall out here. Now I get this tiniest little vertical line. If I keep pulling it all the way over, let's let it re-render, and the line's gone. I'm going to hit Escape a couple times, and now you'll see that that siding from this attic wall, this triangular-shaped attic wall, continues all the way through the um, stud layer of this wall um, here so that my rendering is nice and clean. Let's check the interior. That looks fine still. I could clean this up by doing the same thing. Select the blue interior wall and edit wall layer intersections and just pull this blue uh, stud wall layer back to the yellow. And there we have it, all cleaned up. Edit wall layer intersections helps out a lot. I hope this has been helpful. If you've learned something, click that like and subscribe down there, follow along, and you'll get videos each week as I drop them. Thanks for watching. Take care.